Today I'm going to cover a few different ways that you can convert your materials in Redshift. I made a similar video a couple years ago, but since then the UI has changed a bit, so I just wanted to make an updated version of that tutorial. Let's get started. So here we are in Cinema 4D, and I have a material that was created with the Redshift shader graph, and I'd like to convert this to Redshift nodes. Um, so there's a very simple way in which I can do that. So let's exit out of the shader graph. I'm going to make sure my material is selected and then go material tools convert to nodes and what this will do is create a new material uh, just with redshift nodes instead of the shader graph and you'll see if i replace my shader graph material and if i fire up the redshift render view we're getting the same look that we had before with the shader graph just with all the benefits of using nodes instead. Now say you have a standard Cinema 4D material and you want to convert it to a Redshift shader. Select the material, go back to that tools menu under material, and you're going to select convert materials. And now you'll get a Redshift material uh, using the shader graph setup. Now say you had a scene with a bunch of standard materials and, and you wanted to just replace them all at once. You can select all of the materials, go to the material menu, Go down to Tools, and go to Convert All Materials. You can also do Convert and Replace All Materials, and that'll make no duplicates of the materials. It'll just simply replace the ones in your scene with Redshift materials. Now, say you have a whole scene that's textured with Redshift shader graph materials, and you want to convert them all to nodes at the same time, you can simply go Material, Tools, Convert All Materials to Nodes. You can also convert and replace all materials with nodes. That will replace every material in your scene with a node material without creating any duplicates. So let's try this option. And now you can see our viewport has updated with node materials and we didn't have to do any swapping or switching back and forth. And you can simply switch on the render view and you see we're getting the same result as we had before. If you found this video helpful, please throw me a like down below and I will see you in the next video.